So my brothers and sisters, then Allah says, it's not good enough to only spend. Some people spend, but then they are arrogant. They are boastful. They brag. Allah says, الْغَيْضَ Those who actually swallow their anger, those who extinguish their anger, they suppress their anger. Those are the ones who've developed the right relationship with Allah. They are the muttaqun. They deserve paradise. They would have made haste towards paradise. So Allah is telling you about the race. The race to paradise includes extinguishing your anger. Subhanallah. You want paradise? Allah says, well, part of the race is don't be angry. A young boy comes to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and says, advise me. He says, don't get angry. Give me more advice. He says, don't get angry. Give me more advice. He says, don't get angry. He kept repeating that. Why? Perhaps that boy had a temper problem, a problem with his anger, anger management he needed. Allah's telling you, be conscious of me. Develop the correct relationship with me. And you know what? Race towards forgiveness and paradise. And the racing towards forgiveness and paradise that is prepared for those who are conscious of Allah. That race includes spending. You spend. When you spend, you've won the race. But together with that, you need to extinguish your anger. When you extinguish your anger, there comes a time when you achieve so much of comfort. You cannot describe it. It is so comforting. You could have vented it and you just didn't. So what? Subhanallah, you are the more powerful person. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says, A powerful person is not he who can out-wrestle others. A powerful person is the one who can extinguish his anger when he's angry. Subhanallah, can you do that? Well, then you achieve a lot of comfort. 